All right, there's a long trip down, a couple hour drive, lots of fog, took a lot longer than I wanted. Woke up about four o'clock this morning. So I have to get set up before, before the actually birds get up on the hill. So we'll be shooting prairie chickens today, or photographing prairie chickens, I should say. And uh, don't have much time I'm behind schedule. Hopefully get up there, get you into the setup, give you a breakdown. There's a bunch of turkey vultures that just came in. I call them turkey vultures, I'm not sure. 100%. They're very wary of people. They kind of came in. Right up over top of the hill. They haven't spotted me. I'm obviously in the blind yet, but I'll try to get some video footage of them.
wingspan. I'm not sure how big their wingspan is, but I'd put them up to an eagle easily. actually check the the photos on the way and just to see hey is this actually doing what I think it's supposed to be doing as far as the image quality in it. so anyway lo and behold right here I'll get you guys a close-up a couple of the photos I just took of these little guys but it's nice to have an iPad mini or something right along with you you can plug in your SD card expand see how the lighting is see how the sharpness is kind of you know go ahead and figure out what how things are going to go so all right, it's gonna be a makeshift one there, something like that. Got a little close-up guy there. This one I really like. Kind of expand them out there, maybe do a little cropping. I think that should should work. But other than that, it's really nice to have an iPad with you. Do I'll throw it in the bag. It's light. Kind of get a rough indication. Wow, five hours, that's about what it took here. Got in at five, put up the tent in darkness. Actually spent the rest of the time pretty much shooting. And I shot, I photographed a lot. I got a lot of different video, a lot of different photos. Some of it obviously, you know, was a little too dark. But I think as, as the lighting came out, I think we got some good photographs, some good videos. I'm gonna roll that stuff at the end of this, just kind of an overview of some of the things that happened here. Actually, you know, the birds were coming in and then dissipating probably every hour. And I think that was because we had actually a, a chicken hawk kind of come down and, and try to grab the prairie chickens. And so they would blow out and they'd come back probably an hour or so later. And uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. I will definitely come back and try this again. But if you guys like this kind of stuff, like, subscribe. I got a bunch of other videos coming out or possibly some different ideas ones with camouflage stalking woodsmanship trying to find all these things give you guys some ideas um i do notice a lot of wildlife photographers do, i mean they're, they're good photographers but they don't really know much about woodsmanship and about they really don't um understand the environment for some reason and that's i come from a different background but anyway uh, if you like it do the subscribe thing i think i already said that but I appreciate you guys staying tuned, and hopefully you guys will see me later.